an infinite line of charge produces a field of magnitude 1.7 10 to the power of 4 newton per coulomb at a distance 9 meter so you have the infinite line of charge which will have the magnitude of 1.7 multiplied by 10 to the power 4 at a distance 9 meter and find the magnitude at the distance 2 meter so what is given in the first line you have the infinite line of charge let's i am just taking the positive infinite line of charge so i am going to take a positive line of charge which have the field effect of 1.7 multiplied by 10 to the power of 4 newton per coulomb at a distance 9 meter so from the line of charge to a distance let's we take this is the distance okay so what is the distance let's we take the distance is r1 so what is the distance here the distance they mention in the question as 9 meter in this 9 meter distance from the line of charge how much field effect you have e1 which is equal to 1.7 multiply by 10 to the power of 4 newton per coulomb clear now what you are going to do you are going to find what should be the field effect at 2 meter so what we studied in the theory whenever the distance will be uh, smaller it's the field strength will be stronger whenever the distance will be greater the field strength will be weaker so here in the first part your distance mentioned as 9 meter in this 9 meter what is your field strength it's 1.7 multiplied by 10 to the power of 4 newton per coulomb but in the distance of 2 meter what should be the field effect so we know the answer for sure our answer will be greater than this answer am i right so greater than e1 you will get the value for the distance of 2 meter so that means from the distance of 2 meter let's we take this is our distance 2 meter so what is our r2 our r2 is 2 meter and what should be your e2 you are going to find this value so when you work out with this uh, for, when you work out with the formula for sure the answer for e2 should be greater than e1 why because of the distance so here the distance is 2 meter the field strength should be stronger so now we have to use the formula what is the formula for line of charge in the theory we studied the formula for the line of charge is e that is electrical field strength which is equal to lambda which is lambda is nothing but linear charge density am i right so lambda over 2 pi epsilon naught r so this is the formula am i right now what i am going to do i am going to use this formula for both cases so let's we just use this formula for the first case what is our first case for e1 and r1 i am going to use this formula so first i am going to apply this formula for the e1 value and r1 value so e1 which is equal to lambda over 2 pi epsilon naught r1 clear so now what i am going to do um, first of all i am going to consider this is our first equation and i am going to apply the same rule for the second distance so therefore e2 which is equal to lambda over 2 pi epsilon naught multiplied by r2 i am going to consider this is my second equation clear now what is our main aim we are going to find the value of e2 so for getting the value of e2 i am going to divide the equation 2 by 1 so i am going to divide equation 2 by 1 so two second equation divide by the first equation so first of all i am going to divide in the left hand side of the both equation and after that i am going to divide the right hand side of the both equation so let's we start with the left hand side so e2 over e1 which is equal to right hand side lambda over 2 pi epsilon naught r2 divided by lambda over 2 pi epsilon naught r1 right so now i am going to rearrange this equation so if you rearrange what will happen e2 over e1 which is equal to lambda over 2 pi epsilon naught r2 multiply by this will go to the numerator right so 2 pi epsilon naught r1 over lambda now you can cancel the same term so i can cancel this linear charge density lambda with lambda and also 2 pi epsilon naught i am going to cancel here now what is remaining in the right hand side we have only r1 
and R2. Am I right? In the left hand side, E2 and E1. Am I right or not? So, but the most important thing, first of all, I'm going to write the equation. Therefore, E2 over E1, which is equal to R1 over R2. We are going to find the value of E2. So, you have to rearrange this equation again. And after that, we are going to substitute the value in this equations. Therefore, E2, which is equal to this E1 will come to the right hand side of the numerator. So, therefore, E1 multiplied by R1 over R2. Now, I am going to substitute the value because we have all the values in the question. So, what is the value of E1? The value for the E1 is 1.7 multiplied by 10 to the power of 4. R1 value is 9 meter. R2 value is 2 meter. So, I am going to substitute all these value in this equation. So, let us substitute the value here. So, if you substitute what you will get, the value of E1 is 1.7, I think 1.7 multiply, 1.7 multiply by 10 to the power of 4, 1.7 multiply by 10 power 4, multiply by, what is the value of R1? The value for R1 is 9 meter and value of R2 is 2 meter. Now, I am going to find the answer by using my calculator. Let us see what should be the answer. So, the value for the E2 is 1.7 10 to the power of 4 multiplied by 9 divided by 2. The answer is 7.76500. What is the value? 76500. What is the unit? Newton per coulomb. So, I am going to make the value in terms of power. So, therefore, E2 value which is equal to 7.65 multiplied by 10 to the power of 4 Newton per coulomb. Understand? You can see when the distance reduces, what is our electrical field? Our electrical field would be stronger. So, we got 7.65 multiplied by 10 to the power of 4, right? So, if you just to see for see the value for E1. So, for the distance of 9 meter, we got 1.7 multiplied by 10 to the power of 4. But for the distance E2, what, we, what value we got here? We got the value of 7.65 multiplied by 10 to the power of 4 Newton per coulomb. See the value. It's very big value. Am I right? So, that means whenever the distance reduces, the field strength will be greater. So, it is exactly uh, proved in this question. Am I right? When we work out with the formula, we, are, we exactly prove when the distance is smaller, the field strength will be greater. Clear? So, this is the answer.